Hi everyone, so this is the final result. I have tried to swirl it a little bit more just for the effect, but I decided not to do the whole thing like that because I just preferred it the way it looked at the beginning. So I should have probably put it in the box because what happens with um, the silicone mold sometimes um, you see the the sides have come out so I'm just going to cut that off and use that for myself. So I'm going to put you on here. Okay. So I think I should cut this bit first. I wish I had one of those really long knives because it's probably going to be quite uneven but never mind. I'm just going to cut into it and cut alongside as well so it doesn't crack. a bit longer to cut this but impatience Ooh, so this is what it looks like on the inside can you see calendula and it's rised a little bit but so far so good just a few little holes there and that's the top and that's the double swirl smells really nice and that's the other part and that's the swirl on top so I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut these and of course the top is softer than the bottom because the bottom has thickened up really quickly in the mould whilst the top was still liquidy I really like them both actually, I can't decide which one I prefer. I think this one's turned out really nicely as well. And I'm going to make these into chunky cubes, a little bit different. And they'll need some cleaning of course. scent in the top it might not be strong but it is quite strong um, sorry about this I'm trying to make it up as I go along
some of them will be a little smaller. Focus. There we go. Really nice pattern in all the way inside. And that's the calendula on the bottom. And these fit nicely in the palm of your hand. They chunky bars. I quite like this size actually. So tomorrow I'm selling at the farmer's market, which is a pop-up market in the aid of cancer research. Um, there was a story in the paper that caught the public eye about a boy who's been diagnosed with terminal brain tumour, cancer, um, who is a local boy from close where I live. And it's tragic as it is, um, unfortunately the NHS refused to pay for his treatment um, and so the local community, people, friends, you know small businesses have decided to do a pop-up market every so often to raise some money for Reese's medication. Although his um, cancer is terminal, I'm sure if that was one of us. We would do the same. So you know, a hobby like this. And going to places like that, you know, I do a lot of charity markets and things like that. Donations. Puts a whole different perspective on things when you hear stories like that. And a couple of my friends are coming as well, so it would be nice to see some of the people I haven't seen for a while. So I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully it won't be raining all day. Although they said it should, so we will see. Okay, so with some of the leftovers, with the off-carts, what I've done is I've made a little soap bowl and then once that's cured we can use this here at home. It's a little test batch and it will be mainly unscented because that's the off cuts from the top. Right, so let me show you a close up of my. I haven't decided on the name yet, but Aaron, my boyfriend, said I should call it a retro soap. So you can see the difference between the two. This is the double swirl, that's the single one. I like them both actually. Every piece is a little different. Okay everybody, thanks very much for watching and I shall see you soon. Take care, bye bye.